I feel like it's almost that time, you feel me, for the homie Lil TJ, you know, to drop his album. You feel me, Color My Phone is going crazy right now. Um, arguably one of his biggest songs. Um, you know, he's just doing his thing. A lot of y'all was hitting me up, telling me to react to the genius, you know, the official lyrics and meaning. So we about to see what's going on, man. Lil TJ and Black Color My Phone interview. See what's popping with this, man. I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm like, you know what? Y'all my guys, man. So I gotta, I gotta check it out, man. See what's popping. But look, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all something. If this video hit 2,000 likes in under 24 hours, I'm gonna text him. And be like, yo, we need the album on video. I got y'all. 2,000 likes under 24 hours. Watch this. Anyway, let's dive into this, though. I kind of, like, put, like, different names out on who should be on the song. The biggest response was Polo. <laughs> Word up. This All y'all niggas talking about Polo gonna be on this song. This is not a song for Polo, bro. Like, Polo is my guy, but he, Polo wouldn't fit on this track, you feel me? Personally, I like Polo could really do it all. You know what I mean when it comes to like the the flow of it, the melodic rap drill. Yes, but it's just like this. This needed some like R and B type of vibe. You know what I mean? And yes, Polo could get melodic, but I, he haven't touched that R and B vibe yet. You know what I mean? I don't think that's his that's his way anyway. You feel me? So Black, like I said, Black was literally the best person to put in this track, in my opinion, bro. Honestly. Time, I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, this song already was not exactly in my lane. And it kind of went viral to a point where I didn't even all the way understand it. So I was like, nah, I need somebody that's just gonna fit this pocket and just take this lane with what they already do. Exactly. And it was black. That's a fact. <laughs> studio i normally just look on youtube and i get the free beats and that's how i normally do my process like, <laughs> nah, that's crazy and the free like, beats really is crazy like, yo let's pull up the stems and like i worked on it the sample and all that that like like that wasn't in there initially i don't know who the fuck voice that is i know that i know that to get you off my mind kind of in the sample it was like get you off my mind and then it kind of kept on singing I'm the one who kind of was like, yo, just leave the get you off my mind and just keep putting it. Yeah, that's hard. I got a song from uh, my homie Tim, my A&R Tim, and vibed out to it, finished my verse. I ain't listened to it for like two days, came back to it with fresh ears. I didn't know what I was going to say, but I knew whatever I said was going to fit like right in that pocket. It was already like presented the perfect way. Yeah. Hook was already ready. Beat was already ready. So I just let it flow. Steady color, my It's like, it's like, it's like. It's like a group project. TJ did all the work, you feel me? And all Black had to do was show up and to, to get his grade, to be honest with you, man, because shit was right there, perfect, ready for him, you know what I mean? So all he had to do was just show up, you feel me? And boom, you get an A+, plus, you know what I mean? Now look at the song. The song is going dumb crazy right now, you know? That song Black looks hot. <laughs> he look like he off. He off the Zaza. I with fresh ears. I didn't know what I was going to say. Nah, he's just food. chilling. He not, Whatever he I not said, he just fit, chilling. Like right in that pocket. It was already like presented the perfect way. Hook was already ready. Beat was already ready. So I just said. Get you on my mind. Like, that part goes crazy. Steady call on my phone. I done told you before. You this so over. Be me alone. I really be having this problem. Like people would be calling me, texting <laughs> That's me. That's so me. Something positive would pop up in the media. And you just notice like a wave of girls coming in the inbox and then they'll dry down a little bit and come back. And it's just like, a, you feel me? I'm bullshit up, like, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? You can see me, go Is it me or he got something right here? Or that's like a pimple? I don't know. But that's just irritating. Like, if you see it, you can't unsee it. Sometimes you won't see me strong. I won't go back. But trust me, you ain't gonna hold that. You gonna know I'm here. You know what I'm saying so. Like it's basically like move how you wanna move right now, or play or whatever the situation is right now. And I got you later. 
That's a fact. I ain't trying to play these games no more. I don't wanna be texting your brain no more. I ain't trying to feel this pain no more. But I'm sorry, but I'm feeling like the same no more. The last time I really done had a real emotional problem was, it was this girl that I used to like, be like damn near obsessed with in middle school. And she was like my little girlfriend. And we used to just like flirt and just like each other a lot. And then when I went to jail, I came home to see how I sent a little boyfriend. She used to mail me and shit and cat. Damn. You feel me? And that was like the last time I really had some like real feelings. Sometimes I speak too fast for me. And you know, you guys just retract a little bit, like, hold on. That's not what's going on. Used to be my homie, you ain't gang I felt no that. more. I, ain't okay. I am not a nigga you can claim no more. Traumatized, hoping mm -hmm. it don't rain no more. You done put me through some pain, you done change my aura. Now, all around the world, I just blow no door. You know how, like, you just tell a girl, like, yo, chill out, da da, whatever. I mean, like, even, like, as far as much as you doing too much or something along those lines, and it'll be an excuse, an excuse or this or that, or I got you, and then it'll be the same thing over and over again. You don't put me through some things and change my over. It's just, like, a negative energy that you just don't want there no more. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the door exploring line, I mean, I'm out of here. I'm out there. We'll see what's up next. Like, That's a fact. Like, no, bitch. I'm a dripper than Dior. Ass fast, so straight heat, no Florida. Bad and she doing for herself, I applaud her. No knees, yeah, I'm talking my boo. So please, you know what I'm through. And it's all because of what you started. I haven't told you you gon' lose. Let me tell you something. For anybody that's just saying, oh, TJ getting soft and he giving R&B. One, I just say, like, I'm an artist. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to put my range from FN to a quarter of my phone. That's how it's supposed no to be. My love. I want to be kind, couldn't fake my love. Earthquake makes some shape my love. Most of them can't even relate my love. This nigga That's don't want to be here. He just said, yeah, it's talking like this, man. Like, <laughs> it's black, bro. <laughs> this nigga don't want to be here. Yeah, it's talking like this, man. Earthquake makes some shape my love. Most of them can't even relate my love. That's how impactful my shit is. It's like earthquake makes some shape my love. Like I don't really like to play the game or not being vocal about what it is that you want or don't want. Uh, I had to learn that for myself too. Used to be gang, though, now you're not gang. Used to have fun, though, now you got shame. Used to catch flights, but now I'm not playing. Play on words, you never want to make the same. So I was just like referencing the first part of the song, uh, something that TJ had already said. I think a lot of my verse too is going back to his what verse, pull up from his verse and bring it to mine so it could just connect as one. And I would just like click back to his verse, listen to it again, go back to my verse, punch in the next couple lines, go back to his verse, listen to it again, and then just bounce back and forth. I ain't trying to play your game no more. No, you can't wear my chain no more. We not a thing, can't take no more. Wait, no, you can't waste some more. I mean, I got the visual um, ATL, when T.I. had snatched his chain back off of Nuna. And uh, he's just like, you know, can't wear my chain no more, so. Same thing. A lot of that was just playing with bars and playing with like different things that I know will make people react to what I'm saying. Cause yeah, I remember days when I used to adore. Funny how the shit just flipped like, like a quarter. I Did like that thing part. With Fendi and Dior. Get a move swing, I'll be gone by tomorrow. And that was like another little reference to his verse, cause in his verse he had a bar about uh, what was it Dory Day Explorer? Yeah. Funny how the shit just flipped like a quarter. That's self-explanatory, you know. Flip a quarter in the air, shit. You never know what side you're gonna get. When shit going sour, you know you you gotta really exaggerate. How you feel? So get a move swing, I'll be gone by tomorrow, you know. Whatever it's the that moment is, I'll be like, that's how I feel. So I'ma just say it. Right. At first I thought Black didn't want to be there, but I did I did like his explanation to his um his lyrics and his verse, bro. Um definitely the song the song is definitely going crazy. Like TJ said, you know, a lot of people think he going soft or like you know, he, he he's riding that wave of being an R&B singer, but he said he's an artist. He been saying that his whole career, though. Like, he's he's, he's an artist, you know what I mean? He, he want to, you know, explore and and touch on different genre music. Uh, so, yeah, he's going crazy, you feel me? Like I said, man, the album. I feel like it's almost album time. So, yeah, I heard what I said in the beginning of the video, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. If you enjoyed this, man, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out of here.